Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 10 mathematics, NCRT or CBSC board application problems. 13th problem, in an AP, arithmetic progression, sixth term is one more than twice the third term. The sum of the fourth and fifth terms is five times the second term. Find the 10th term of the AP. Let's start the solution. And read the statement again. In an AP, sixth term is one more than twice the third term. Given, given, sixth term, sixth term is one more than twice the third term. Sixth term. How can you write sixth term? I can write it as a six. Sixth term is equal to one more, one more plus one. Then twice, twice means two times the third term, a three. So let me read again. Sixth term is one more than twice the third term. Did you get it this point? Okay, let us uh, write this in general form. A6 can be written as A plus 5D is equal to 2 into A3 can be written as A plus 2D plus 1. A plus 5D is equal to multiply this to 2A two plus 2 to so 4, 4D plus 1. And now bring this A this side and 1 this side. 2A minus A plus 4D minus 5D. Plus 5D becomes minus 5D. Plus 1 if it comes this side, minus 1. 2A minus A will be A. 4D minus 5D will be minus D. Minus 1. Or you can rewrite it as a minus d is equal to minus 1. Mark it as a first equation. Now let's go with the second point. Sum of. Sum of. The fourth. Sum of the fourth and fifth. Is. Five times. Five times the second term. Find the tenth term of the AP. Tenth term means they asked us A10 is equal to question mark. You can write this in first line itself. Now read once again. Sum of the, sum of the plus. Sum of the fourth and fifth terms. Fourth term, I can write it as A4. Fifth term, I can write it as A5. A4 plus A5 is equal to 5 times the second term. 5 times the second term. Okay. If you are able to frame these two children, this problem is nothing. Okay. Write this in general form. A4 can be written as A plus 3D. And A5 can be written as A plus 4D is equal to 5 into A2 can be written as A plus D. A plus A will be 2A. 3D plus 4D will be 7D is equal to multiply brackets 5 into A 5A plus 5 into D 5D. Now 5A 2A 5A is greater so send these all this side. 5A minus 2a plus 5d minus 7d. There is nothing here. 0. 5a minus 2a will be 3a. 5d minus 7d will be minus 2d equal to 0. Rewrite this. 3a minus 2d equal to 0. Mark this as second equation. Observe these two children carefully. a 3a. D, 2D there. 
ए और डी यू कैन एलिमिनेट एनीथिंग बट यू कैन फ्रॉम विच वन यू नीड टू एलिमिनेट आई ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट ए सो हियर इन ऑर्डर टू मेक सेम यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई फॉर दिस इक्वेशन थ्री लेट मी ट्राई टू कंटिन्यू द प्रॉब्लम हियर मल्टीप्लाई मल्टीप्लाई थ्री फॉर इक्वेशन वन थ्री ए माइनस थ्री डी इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन एज इट इज यू टेक थ्री ए माइनस टू डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज टू इक्वेशन ओके सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज टू इक्वेशन चेंज साइन एंड दिस विल बी माइनस थ्री ए माइनस थ्री ए कैंसल माइनस थ्री प्लस टू विल बी माइनस डी माइनस थ्री माइनस जीरो विल बी माइनस थ्री माइनस माइनस कैंसल डी इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी गोट डी वैल्यू राइट सब्सिट्यूट दिस डी इन एनी वन ऑफ द इक्वेशन लेट एस कंटिन्यू सब्सिट्यूटिंग इन इक्वेशन वन ए माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री सेंड अदर साइड प्लस थ्री माइनस वन ए इज इक्वल टू टू What is a and d? A is a first term. D is a common difference. I got a and d. We need to calculate tenth term. Tenth term of an AP. That is a ten. We can write tenth term general form as a plus nine d. Substitute a and d value. A value is two and d value is three. Two plus nine three is twenty seven. Twenty seven plus two will be twenty nine. Therefore, tenth term of the given AP is twenty nine. With this statement, you can end this problem. Is this clear? So similar type of question. One more question is asked by Harshadi. See ya. Harsha, your problem. What you have asked is very easy, similar to this type of problem. I just give you the hint of this problem. The fourth term of an AP, fourth term of an AP is three times the first term. First term is a one or a, and your second point, the seventh term, seventh term exceeds seventh term. Exceeds two times the third term by one. When they have given here seventh term, there you need to put equal to seventh term exceeds two times third term. Two times third term by one. Find the first term and common difference. Okay. The same type of question they have asked us. If you able to understand this problem. You can try this problem. Fourth term is three times the first term. Simplify this in general form, and you will get one equation. Same manner, seventh term exceeding two times the third term by one. Same manner, a seven is equal to two into a three plus one. Rewrite this in general form, and then you are going to get one equation. If you are going to solve these two equations, you are going to get a and d. And here we have found a and d, and there is one more question asked: find the tenth term. But for this problem, you can find only a and d. This problem is today's homework for you. Don't forget to answer. Please solve the problem and text the answer in the comment box. We are going to meet our next session. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.